Hello everybody and welcome back to another Farming Simulator 22 how-to video. Today we're going to take a look at all of the things you're going to need to know in order to plant, harvest, transport, store, feed, and process sunflowers. Let's just go ahead and jump on in and take a look at all of the equipment you're going to need in the vehicle shop. So if we go to tools and then planters, any base game planter should have the capability of planting sunflowers from the Falcon 3. You can see here we have sunflowers indicated all the way up to the Kinsey Blue Drive 4905. As again, you can see we have the sunflower icon here. We are gonna be using the Kinsey planter for this particular video's purposes. Now, once you have grown your sunflowers and they are ready to harvest, you're gonna to go to vehicles and then harvesters. Any of these harvesters are capable of harvesting sunflowers out of the field. For our particular case, we are gonna be using the Fent Ideal 10T. And then as far as what types of headers can you pair up with your harvester? Well, sunflowers are rather unique in the fact that you can either use a corn header or a specialty purpose header just for the sake of using sunflowers. Now, corn headers are going to be limited to six miles per hour. And as you can see, they are going to use corn or sunflowers. So if you want to use one of these headers, then just make sure you pick one that is appropriate for your size harvester. Or if you just go to headers, you're going to find that there are a few helianthus headers available here in the shop. And they are specifically designed for the purpose of harvesting sunflowers and sunflowers alone. Now, what are the advantages of using a helianthus header as opposed to a corn header? Well, it's pretty straightforward. The only advantage is working speed in the fact that these headers will work at nine miles per hour, whereas a corn header is limited to six miles per hour. Now, there is one other thing that you could use sunflowers for, and that is if you really wanted you could grow sunflowers for the purpose of chaff. They are not nearly as ideal as growing corn or using grass for chaff, but it is possible to chaff sunflowers. In that case, you would want to use a forage harvester. Any of these forage harvesters would work for that purpose. And then you're gonna to want to match that up with a forage harvester header. And if we take a look here down at the icons below, each particular header. You're gonna see that the mowing header is gonna work with our sunflowers. And we're also gonna see that the forage header is gonna work with sunflowers also. I have to say in all of my years of playing farm sim, I have never really seen anybody grow sunflowers for the purpose of forage harvesting, but I can say it is indeed possible. Now we are gonna be making use of the Bergman auger wagon for the purpose of transporting our sunflowers from field to waiting semi-trailer. Any of these auger wagons will serve that purpose with the exception of the final four. These final four auger wagons are specifically built for specific crops and you will see those crops down here in the bottom fill type area. As far as taking our crops from field to farm, well, you can pretty much use any standard trailer available in game. We're gonna make use of the Dimco side dump trailer, but there are a few trailers that you wanna make sure you stay away from because they have been specifically designed for crops other than grain crops. One of those happens to be the Radium 255, and you can always see the fill types that are accepted down here below the particular item. The Radium 255 will accept grass, sugar cane, wood chips, straw, silage, hay, and chaff. Now, once you have gotten the crop out of the field, you're gonna to want to store your crop and you can store sunflowers in any in-game silo from the Una Pharma 400 OBI 1000 all the way up to the massive NL 16-22-1600 grain silo. Any of these silos will accept sunflowers and store them without any issues. 
As far as animal goes, pigs are the only animal that will require or make use of sunflowers as a food source. And if you do feed sunflowers to pigs, it will show up under the protein category. And then as far as production goes, you can make use of the oil mill to process your sunflowers into sunflower oil. And we will take a look at doing that here in a little bit. So with that, let's go ahead and get started with our planting process. But before we do that, let's talk about field 33 and how it has been prepared. We are down here in Elm Creek and we have prepared field 33 as we have with many of our other crop videos. This field has been plowed, so it no longer needs plowing. Lime has been applied. It has been fertilized two times. It has been also cultivated and de-stoned. So this is a field that is as perfect as can be to receive our fresh seed. Now, with respect to seed, let's talk about that also. You're going to be able to provide seed for your planter by going to Objects, Big Bag Pallets. You're going to be able to buy a big bag pallet of seed, $900 for 1,000 liters. You can buy a big bag bag of seed, $800 for 1,000 liters. Or you can go to pallets and then buy a pallet of seed, $950 for 1,050 liters of seed. Once you have seed in your seeder and you are ready to process that, you're going to want to make sure you toggle with the Y key in order to get to the selected crop of choice. In this case, sunflowers. I'm going to go ahead and line up on the field and hire a helper off. And you'll see that after planting sunflowers, we're going to need to come through here later with a weeder and a roller in order to maximize our total yield and get a 100% yield bonus. Now, there's one other thing we're going to want to do in order to maximize our yield, and that is to place a couple beehives because bees have the capability of pollinating sunflowers, canola, and potatoes. Those are our flowering crops. So to do that, we're going to go to animals, bees, and we're going to pick the large beehive because it has the maximum effective range of 150 meters. And I am going to place a beehive right about here. And then I'm going to place another beehive over here because I have already kind of scouted the area and I feel that these two locations are going to provide an effective range such that the entire field is going to be covered as a result. Now let's run over here and just take a look at how we can figure that out. As you can see down in the lower info screen, these, this beehive has an effective range of 150 meters. In fact, if we come here and take a look at the other beehives, we know that the big beehive here has 150 meter effective range. The smaller beehive has an effective range of 100 meters, 75, 50, and 25 meters, respectively. We're going to make use of a PC-only mod called the Measure Mod. We're going to put a point right here at the center of the beehive. We're going to then back up. And you can see in the upper left, a range is coming up. We are now 40 meters away from the beehive, 50 meters, 60 meters, 75, 90 meters, 110 meters, 130 meters will get us right here to the field edge. And if we then move over here to the corner of the field, you can see that we are approximately 145 meters away from our beehive. If we then move in this direction until we are approximately 150 meters away from that beehive, you'll see that we are fairly close now to the beehive that we placed over here on this side of the field. 
So if we happen to have drawn a circle 150 meters in radius, or I guess diameter, radius, di I, it's been a long time since I've been in school, okay? 150 meter circle with the beehive in the middle, whatever that is, I don't really honestly care. We know that we will have covered this field entirely with these two beehives. We know from Giants information that beehives will give us a couple percent increase in overall yield. And then also we'll be able to put down a honey spawn point as a result of these beehives and then make use of the honey as well. If we take a look at our seasonal growth calendar, if you play with seasonal growth enabled, you'll be able to plant your sunflowers in March and April, and then they will be ready to harvest in October and November. One month post planting, and we have our first growth of our sunflowers. Three months post planting, we have a second growth stage on our sunflowers. Five months after planting, we have another growth state of sunflowers. And I think at this point, I want to show you something. And that is that sunflowers have an interesting little trick. Let's take a look and see what they're pointing at. Huh. Let's fast forward time and see what happens. If you're not noticing it, the sunflowers are moving. They are tracking the sun. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't know that. Interesting factoid. What didn't you say? Seven months post planting and our sunflowers are finally ready to harvest. So as I said, you could harvest these for chaff if you really wanted to i would suspect that you probably would harvest those ideally in the final growth stage as opposed to waiting until they are ready to harvest but either rate you could use a forage harvester and get a surprisingly decent yield out of sunflowers not as good a yield per hectare as corn but much better than some other crops that you can also forage harvest but we are going to focus on grain harvesting our sunflowers and we're going to use the helianthus header for that purpose you could use a grain header for sure but i wanted to demonstrate this particular header it does have its advantages one of those set advantages is it operates at nine miles per hour so it is much much faster to harvest any field of sunflowers. Now, sunflowers are also a crop that does not allow you to leave a straw swath behind, so you will always be spreading chaff on the ground. And after harvest, you can come through with a mulcher, mulch the rest of the stubble into the ground in order to then get maximum yield bonus on the next crop that you're gonna put into the soil. With the specialty header making such quick work of this field, we are already at a point where we need to unload the harvester. We're going to use our Bergman auger wagon. If this is the first video you've seen about our crop series, then you may not know that one of the reasons why you might want to use an auger wagon to unload your harvester as opposed to maybe a trailer, maybe a semi-truck and semi-trailer. And that would be because the larger wheels on the tractor and auger wagon will provide less compaction on the soil 
and as a result it can also provide less damage to the soil with the potential of a road tire like that on a semi truck and trailer could provide ruts into the field and that of course is a real life problem not so much a problem with the game world but you know what some people like to play in a simulation mode where they try to emulate real life as much as possible so now that we have unloaded our harvester we're going to come over here we're going to pipe out with the o key We're going to fill up our side dump semi-trailer. Most our wagons have the capability of changing the output pipe angle with the left click left and right or right click left and right to actually move the pipe itself. Now that we have our grain in our semi-trailer, let's go talk about storing our... <laughs> now that we have our grain in our semi-trailer, let's talk about storing our grain, using our grain as food for our pigs, and then also potentially further processing our sunflowers into sunflower oil at the oil factory. Of course, if you didn't have pigs and you didn't own the oil factory, you could take your sunflowers directly to market. You didn't have to store them if you didn't want to, but depending on the type of year, you may wish to store your sunflowers for a better price later on. Take a look here at our silo. You'll see that we now have 16,000 liters of sunflowers stored in our silo. If we take a look at our prices screen, you can see that right now sunflowers are going anywhere between $2,300 to $2,900 per thousand liters. If we move down here to sunflower oil, you see we can sell our sunflower oil anywhere between 6,000 and nearly 6,300 liters for that. Now when it comes time to feed sunflowers, we're gonna take, obviously pull them out of our silo. And we'll take them over to our pig trough. Feeding sunflowers will satisfy the protein element of the pig's diet. So as we are adding product in here, if we go and take a look at the animals, you'll see that our protein column is going up. So right there we are providing protein for our pigs, and that is going to consume basically 20% of their overall effectiveness. Now, as far as using sunflowers to produce sunflower oil, we would, of course, first buy the oil plant and then put sunflowers into it. We take a look at the production recipe for sunflower oil. You'll see that it will take two units of sunflowers to make one unit of sunflower oil. 4,800 cycles per month. So that means that we're gonna use 9,600 liters of sunflowers per month to produce 4,800 units of sunflower oil. We're gonna go through 115,000 liters of 
sunflowers per year. And we are going to generate 57,000 liters of sunflower oil per year. Let's go ahead and activate the production on our sunflowers. While we are getting the rest of our sunflowers into the sunflower factory, I want to now revisit the sunflower prices and sunflower oil prices. If we take a look at our prices screen again, sunflower oil currently is $6,000 to $6,300. Remember, it takes two units of sunflowers to make one unit of sunflower oil. We take a look at our sunflowers. We have $2,300 to $3,000. We would have to, basically, if you double this, okay? So if we go with $4,600 to $6,000, that is how much sunflower profit we are foregoing to produce 1,000 liters of sunflower oil. And we're going to get anywhere it's between $6,000 and $6,300 currently for that sunflower oil. Not a big profit margin for the fact that we have to purchase the oil factory and then wait for the oil factory to produce sunflowers because remember the oil factory is going to cost us eighty thousand dollars so it is not cheap and if we're only making approximately three hundred dollars per thousand liters of oil as compared to selling our sunflowers directly well there's not a lot of margin in there is there Now with the sunflower plant running, I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward one more month. We'll see how much sunflower oil we actually get produced and then revisit the sunflower oil price just one more time. One more month has passed now and we now have four pallets full of sunflower oil, 1,000 liters each. And we have nearly 800 units of sunflower oil still left in the factory to spawn. So we have gotten the production that we are expecting to get. If we take a look at our sunflower oil prices now. Well, the best price is somewhere between $6,000 and $6,127. Not so hot of a price, really. And if we take a look at our sunflowers, our price ranges anywhere from $2,200 to $2,600. So remember, it's gonna take you two units of sunflowers to produce one unit of sunflower oil. So if we double our best price here of $2,600, that's gonna be $5,200 for sunflowers if we sold them per thousand liters of sunflower oil. Now let's go see what our sunflower oil is going to run. 5,900 to 6,127. A little bit of profit there, but again, I'm not really sure if running the oil mill just for the purpose of making sunflower oil is going to be worth it. Let me know in the comments, what do you all think? Is owning the oil factory worthwhile, given the fact of the prices that we have seen here today? And until next time, happy farming.